wanted to do something different today as it's my birthday here the 13th of February uh, so I am going to make a cake just because I can and first of all I am going to make some raspberries and I'm doing that with some of these small uh, nail art caviar beads that I am gluing together on my needle tool and I'm going to let it dry and then carefully pop it off my tool. I made three of the raspberries and I'm using my silly gum uh, mold putty for making a mold of these raspberries. Make the mold dry completely, it takes around half an hour before you take out the original raspberries. I'm going to mix some Bordeaux clay with a tiny bit of white, uh, that is um, opaque white, together for these raspberries. And then I'm just going to cut a tiny bit of a snake that I rolled and using my dotting tool I am filling up the molds making it look nice and then I'm going to bake these and then make more and yes the mold is fine in the oven so don't worry Now to the cake itself, I am going to use a piece of wrist clay that I am rolling and flattening until I get the shape of the cake. I'm using a tiny bit opaque white for the top of the cake so that you don't see the wrist clay under there. So I'm just flattening it out so that it fits the top of the cake. I rolled out some brown clay on my pasta machine on the second smallest setting that it has. And I'm going to cut out a rim from my cake. And I like it to be a little taller than the cake itself. I'm making sure that it is not overlapping. And then I'm going to smooth the connection together so that you really don't see it that much. Take your time with this so your cake is going to turn out just like you want it. I have this small uh, cutter, circle cutter, and I'm going to use that on my brown clay that is still rolled out to make some chocolate pieces that I can use for decorating my cake. I'm using a ball tool to make a small indent in the middle of these chocolate pieces. And then I'm going to bake the cake and these chocolate pieces. I have this strawberry milk from Dessert Topping Master and I'm going to put that on top of my cake. Then I am placing my raspberries and my chocolate decorations around the edge of the cake.
Then I have this silver leaf that I am decorating a little of the cake with and then I'm just going to let it dry up so it gets hard and nice and I'm going to glaze the raspberries so they look shiny and delicious just ready to eat and that's all there is for this cake I hope you enjoyed this thank you for watching and happy crafting